Hey everybody, welcome back. It's patch 713. This time I have another Uder gameplay on the new patch to show another game using the build that I showed in my last video. A hybrid Tiger and Phoenix Dance build that starts with Tiger Stance early for the early strength and then next maxing Phoenix Dance. So if you haven't already seen the guide for this build, I'd recommend watching that video first and I will link it on the top right corner. So jumping right into this gameplay starting at blue, level 2 Turtle Stance as always. Attacking the small wolves first because we only have single target damage. With four attacks between each ability as usual. It's a little bit hard to think of at first, but after some practice you do it without even thinking about it. Four attacks. Just like playing Phoenix Dance. Let's keep our passive stacked up while running this long distance from wolves to red buff for the movement speed. Then I'm going to have enough time to only attack once in Tiger Stance before switching to Turtle Stance. And then go back to alternating with four attacks between each stance. Level 3 Bear Stance, which is our time to gank. So. If you're starting on this side of the map, the two options for level 3 gank are either mid or bot. And in this case, since a bot lane is more pushed, I'm gonna run down there. And these guys engage at the perfect time for us. I could've got that kill on the Varus, but I decided to, I guess, be greedy and go for Leona. It's not like any of my teammates died, but I didn't get anything out of it. I didn't get an assist or a kill, so... But I got Leona's flash, so it's not too bad. Take out the Scuttle. One Bear Stance auto, one Tiger Stance auto, and one Smite is enough to kill the first Scuttle Crab. And since mid isn't very pushed, let's just try to invade now. But wolves are already gone, so let's just leave a ward over here, and we see Lee Sin in bot lane. So let's run down there. We can get there a little bit quicker if we use this plant. And Lee Sin is still chasing. Leona actually is coming back also, so I'm gonna get one stun on him. Tiger Stance, he stuns me, but I got red buff slow on him. We got Leona, switch to Lee Sin, stun, Tiger Stance. And the red buff gets the last hit. So, we got a double kill out of that, not too bad. Bot lane is off to a great start. They got a huge lead already. It's gonna be 1200 gold, perfect amount for the first recall. We can get a Stalker's Blade, a Hunter's Potion, and Basic Boots. Now this game, because I already have such a good lead, I'm gonna actually go for a level 4 dragon instead of level 5. So, I'll just take these Krugs to get level 4. Attacking the small ones first, as usual, because of the single target damage. Let's use this plant to clear dragon. Leave another ward over here and just alternate Tiger and Turtle Stance. We're actually going to be able to do it pretty easily because we have double buffs and Hunter's Potion. Lee Sin shows up in top lane. Let's try mid lane because bot lane should be fine now. Let's try to get this guy that's a little bit pushed. Looks like it's warded. So let's go back to farming. We'll pick up where we left off in the jungle. We already got Krugs. Now let's take Raptors and keep working our way up through the jungle to kill everything. When you're farming raptors, make sure to not attack a small raptor that's already like almost dead with a tiger proc because it's a waste. So if you see a tiger proc coming up, switch to a different target that has full health so you don't waste the extra damage on something that's already going to be dead with the regular auto. Botling gets another couple kills. So let's just grab this blue and then try to gank that Trindomir because he's pushed now. But it's warded so we can at least walk over here and take out the ward. Notice Trinomir walking back towards the bush and warding it again, so let's just remember that it's warded for another minute or so and don't gank for another minute. We can take out Scuttle. And since Lee Sin was just a bot, I'm gonna try to grab this red buff before he can show up. So let's just pull it into the bush. We can jump over this wall, maybe we can actually get behind this Trinomir, avoiding that ward in river. Let's start with a stun and then after the stun, use our slow smite, attack move a little bit. Then after 4 attacks in Tiger Stance, switch to Phoenix Stance. We're not going to get that kill, but we got his ult. It's good enough. Now let's try mid lane again. Now I'm going to wait around this wall, out of vision, waiting for him to push just a little bit to give me a little bit of time to get in behind him. And you don't want to stand too close because minions will see you if they're running down lane like that. So this time I figured that he pushed just barely enough. I decided to go for it, start with a Turtle Stance and then Bear Stance then Tiger Stance and Attack Move, and then Phoenix Stance. And now we just got our mid laner a kill. This time, since I knew the fight was not going to last longer than 3 seconds, I didn't wait 4 attacks in Tiger Stance, I just switched from Tiger Stance straight to Phoenix Stance as soon as possible. Not sure where Lee Sin is, he's probably at his red buff that I already took. There he is, he just came out of that side of the jungle, walked towards mid lane, he's covering that lane while his mid laner is dead, so let's run in here. Oh, there he is. Start with a stun. Tiger Stance, he's gonna jump away, but my Ari, being the great teammate that he is, he notices and he comes in and helps me get that kill. So now mid lane is pretty fed, bot lane's pretty fed, we're looking pretty good. Let's just take these wolves. Then the enemy bot lane is engaging for some reason. 
I shouldn't have used Bear Sans there. I switched off a of Bear Sans and I couldn't stun Leona immediately. But we ended up getting him and we got his Flash also. So I guess it worked out pretty good. Now I kind of want to dive this Jin, but I'm worried about his Heart CC. That one ability. He only has one Heart CC ability. So I'm trying to juke it out. Dodge it. And once he uses that and misses, it's my time to dive in. And uh, one more small mistake I made was instead of switching from Bear Stance straight to Phoenix Stance, I should have just gone to Tiger Stance for that one auto because my Phoenix Stance is only level 1. But anyways, we got out of there barely. We're going to have enough money to finish Sheen and Stinger. Now, let's run back towards our red buff, take this red. Keep an eye on that bot lane to look for another free kill. Lee Sin was in mid. Looks like he's coming this way. We're taking his romp though. I think this is warded. Because they're kind of converging on me. There goes at least in Q, so that bush is probably warded. And here comes bot lane. They all want to get that Udir. Try to keep him around a little bit for my team to show up. Dodge the hard CC. And my team's going to come in and destroy them. And we're probably going to finish this guy off with our red buff and the Jin snare. That was going to be my kill if Jin didn't hit me with that snare. That early three kills in bot lane really just won this whole game. We're going to take dragon number two. That's a second fire drake. I don't have smite and the Jin is trying to, I guess, steal dragon with his ult. So let's just wait. There goes his last shot. We're just going to finish off his dragon. I'm going to take some health from this. And while we're waiting for another opportunity to gank somebody, let's just do a little bit more farming because it doesn't take very much time to clear the whole jungle. We can just do one full like loop through and then look for another opportunity. And now since we have Phoenix Dance, we don't need to attack the small monsters first. We can attack them all at once. Top lane recalls, so let's just run up here, take a little bit of farm. Mid lane gets another kill also. Now Lee Sin is busy trying to cover bot lane, so I'm going to sneak in here and take this red buff once again. Let's just take these raptors on our way to mid lane. Then we'll take all this farm as well. And I got my eye on that blue buff. I'm not sure where Lee Sin is, I think he's in the area, so I'm not really worried about it. I, I was just going to go straight for blue buff and then he showed up here. I'm three levels up on him, so I just had to stun him once and he was dead pretty much. We'll take out this blue buff again. Oh, bot lane wants to fight. I could definitely 1v2 them. Jin's gonna flash away. We got Leona ult also, but Jin ran downward, so we're just gonna be able to die them. Pick up that free kill. The only way Jin could have survived that is if he flashed over the wall to the right and then walked up. Then I wouldn't have been able to actually catch him. So that's gonna be enough money to finish Trinity Force. We'll also just grab Swiftness Boost because this game is looking pretty good for our team, so I'm not really worried about the defense boots. Let's just take this red and head up to top lane to help this Teemo. The Teemo is the only person on this team that's not a complete monster right now. But mid laner runs up there instead before I can get there and they just kill them both. They killed Lee Sin and Trinomir so I'm just going to take out this Rift Herald. Just need to alternate Tiger and Phoenix Stance for the faster clear. No need to use Turtle Stance. We're going to have full health anyways from our Hunter's Potion. And Smite. So let's use this Rift Herald to try to push and take out a tower or two. Let's try mid lane I think because my bot lane's already grabbing a lot of the enemy attention over there so we we'll probably just rush mid with Rift Herald. And that's the first tower down. We got two mid, two bot. Try to get this next tower. We got Trinomir ult. Meanwhile in top lane Teemo gets the first tower. Leona's gonna dive in again. And that's going to be this inhibitor. Now I'm just going to run straight at this Lee Sin. He cues me. I'm just going to stun him when he flies in. And we get that kill also. Now I don't have enough health to keep pushing. So I'm just going to go take Dragon. We can take the Scuttle and the Fruit to heal up a little bit. We got a 10 and 2 ADC. A 7 and 2 mid laner. Those ganks really paid off. We can recall. Pick up a Sinner Hulk. I'm just going to grab Sinner Hulk. I could have gone for more damage because I'm so fed, but really, our team doesn't really need more damage. We already have the fed AD and the fed AP, so I'll just go a little bit tankier, I guess. Now, we already got mid inhib down, so we're going to run up to top lane. You don't want to push mid lane if you already have an inhibitor. 
because that one's going to push itself. So the goal is to draw the enemies away from the lane that you already have inhibitor and let super minions push into the base. So I decided to go up to top lane. And we notice three enemies up trying to defend this tower up here. So we're just going to run in behind them, get them trapped. They're, nobody's going to be able to get away out of tower. So let's just wait here for my team to show up and it's only a matter of time before they're all dead. And there we go. That's actually going to be a surrender. Thank you for watching the video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any ideas for videos that you want to see. And I will see you guys again in a week. Later, guys.